Hey guys, now imagine a world where every moment is infused with purpose. Where you wake up each and every morning burning with a passion that propels you forward. Imagine you have dreams that are becoming reality. In this video today, we're gonna to unravel the transformative power of having a vision for your life. How it can ignite your soul, your spirit, get behind your energy, unleash your potential, and ultimately shape your destiny and make sure that the time that you've got here is spent the best way possible. Now, for those that have been in personal development for a minute, I know that you have been told that it's really important to have a vision and it's pretty straightforward right if you've got a target you will actually have a greater likelihood of hitting it one of the big things is people don't necessarily believe that it's possible and i know that for a fact because i was that guy i was pretty much the last person that you would imagine would believe in vision work right it just seemed too pie in the sky too off with the fairies too ungrounded and unrealistic for me to just visualize things and they would just happen. But something interesting happened in my life and I'm gonna share that with you here today. One of the things that I was doing consistently during that period was this thing called the six phase meditation. Now it's a meditation that was released at Mind Valley by Vishen Lakiani, one of my mentors, guides, teachers. And I've created actually other versions of the six phase meditation here on the Inspired Evolution channel as well, if you guys wanna go check them out. Now the six phase meditation looks at life through six phases. Yeah, and just to give you a quick little synopsis, the first phase is all about compassion, the second one about gratitude, the third one forgiveness. The fourth phase is actually about envisioning, envisioning for your life. What you're invited to do in that part of the meditation is visualize what your life looks like three years five years ten years from now and you just spend some time visualizing and my advice for those that are coming to it for the first time is just pretend right just fake it till you make it and what I was doing at the time is I was visualizing vision right this is I haven't really shared this with too many people but I used to literally visualize vision and the work that he was doing for the world somehow as Amrit contributing to that Amrit doing the same sort of work in the world right but one of the most inspiring pieces in my entire life that happened was I became a Mind Valley certified trainer right and at that time I didn't really have a background in NLP or coaching or therapy or anything, right? Mind Valley brought out this opportunity for those that attended the first ever Mind Valley University, which was in Barcelona. The vision stood up at the front of the room and said, hey, we're closing this Mind Valley University. I've had the best time. Thank you guys so much. We've also come up with this plan that in our local economy, all over the world, we would love to have a local representative like Mini Visions to come deliver his teachings as an extension of him in their local countries. Is this of interest to you? My wife was in that room. She literally put her name with my name into the hat, even though I wasn't there. I became a Mind Valley certified trainer thanks to my wife going along to that event. Now, they went through a shortlisting process from the hundreds of applications that they got, eventually settled on, I think it was 30 or 40 of us landing in a training in California for a couple of weeks there, teaching us all the different syllabuses and all the different courses and all the different programs and how to deliver them. There's a photo of me sitting in the room as he's sharing this at phase four and Vision is up there talking about how envisioning works. And he's telling us how the power of the six phase meditation and coming back to visualing and visualizing it every single day actually brings it to the forefront of your mind. The reticular activation system clicks in and things start to happen. Miracles start to happen. And I've had this epiphany all of a sudden where my reality cracked. My perspective on reality cracked open and I was like, For six months now at least, maybe eight months, I've been visualizing myself becoming someone like Vision doing the work that he's doing in the world. And here I am in California, having flown all the way from Melbourne, with Vision Lakiani at the front of the room teaching me personally how to deliver his courses and programs. And right now he's teaching me how important visioning is and how it actually works. And if there was ever proof in the pudding that it works, here you are right now, having visualized this opportunity into reality in your life. I never believed in visualization. 
Yet I went along with it for a little while. Fast forward six months later of doing this work consistently and it truly works for you to manifest whatever it is that you want to visualize into your reality. This is the power of envisioning and having a vision. And there are many different ways that you can craft a vision for your life, right? I have some personal favorites that I'm about to share with you and I've intentionally stacked them from least intensive to most intensive. The three models that I'm gonna share with you, the first one is based on your obituary. Let's call it the obituary model. The second one is based on the three most important questions. Let's call that the three MIQs. And the third one is based loosely on Lifebook and let's call that the Lifebook model method. So I'm gonna run you through those now, pick which one's your favorite and run with one for now. So model one, the obituary model. The obituary model is was gifted to me by Niall McInnes. I went through this and he's a fear coach, a really dear brother of mine. I ended up coaching him as well in the future. We've got a really wonderful relationship. He's a very dear brother of mine. I went away on a men's camp, men's retreat with him, and he had us write out our obituary, right? This is your obituary. It's a bit dark, it's a bit morbid. Stay with me, I promise it's worth it. Write out our obituary, how it would be read at our funeral if we were to pass away today. Touch wood. I know that's heavy, it's a lot to sit with, but take the time, maybe pause the video now if you're into this one. Give yourself five minutes, put on some really nice meditation music, and literally just take the time to write what you think would be read at your funeral. What would your friends be saying about you? What would your partners be saying about you? What would your mother, father, daughter, children, son, those, your loved ones, what are they saying about you at your funeral? Are they talking about you as a person, your accomplishments, the impact that you've had on them or on the world? Whatever it is that comes up for you, just how you think they would write your obituary. Three to five minutes is all you really need. Um, if you give yourself 15 to 20, you're probably gonna end up too far into your head. But for a feel into it, I would recommend five minutes on a timer, write your obituary, how you think it would be read at your funeral today. And then step two of the obituary method is to write your dream obituary. One of Alan Watts's favorite piece of wisdom that's dropped in for me is contemplating death is actually the best fertilizer for the plant that is life, right? Your life is most enriched by contemplating death. And again, I know it's dark, it's heavy, it's morbid, but taking the time, again, another five minutes of your time on a separate A4 piece of paper to write down what is the impact you wanted to have, what are the experiences you wanted to have, what are the things you wish you would have learned while you were here, who are the people you would have connected with, all of that in your dream obituary. Put yourself a timer for about five minutes and write your dream obituary and just allow it to flow out of you. This is model one, right? The obituary model. It's confronting your fears. It's knowing that you've got a limited time here on earth and what are you gonna spend your time doing? If I'm honest with you, Niall did it way more intensely for us. We actually wrote this out and the next morning he woke us up at 4 a.m., took us out to the beach where we had pre-dug graves and he actually buried us under the sand in our graves while he was reading our dream obituary to us. And that sense of the delta, which is the important part of this exercise between our current obituary and our dream obituary was highlighted super painfully as he kept packing sand in on us and we literally felt like we were being buried back into the earth and our time here was incomplete and we did not achieve the things that we wanted to do and just the pain of all of that loss was significant and palpably felt. I remember tears were just streaming down my eyes as I recognized that there was so much I wanted to achieve that I wasn't even working towards in my life. And in fact, it was that weekend when I came home and gave my very first Facebook Live, just went live on Facebook, and it didn't seem like a massive change, but truly that is what gave birth to me having the courage to show up for a podcast, which then showed up for this YouTube channel, which then shows up in the work that I do today as a coach, speaker, entrepreneur, everything that I do. So it's completely transformative, and in there you will find your vision. That dream obituary is your vision for life. 
Model 2 is slightly different, takes a little bit more time, and again, you probably end up spending, if the previous model was taking about 10, 15 minutes, the next model, this model's probably gonna take you about 30 odd, right? So it's called the three most important questions. What you wanna do is get a piece of paper and divide it into three columns, right? In these three columns, you're going to start in a very similar way to spontaneously write your response to each of the following questions. The first question you're going to ask yourself, and at the top of column one, you are going to write experiences. And the question you're going to answer is what do I want to experience in life? Do you want to travel places? Are there, do you want to jump out of a plane? You know, what are the outdoor, what are the indoor, what are the extreme things? What are the not so extreme things, but really heartwarming, heartfelt things? What are all the different experiences you want to experience? Then the next column that you want to address is growth. So the middle column is all about growth. And the question you're going to answer is how do you want to grow in life? What is it that you want to grow as into do you need to learn a language do you need to learn a skill if you do get stuck have a look at your experience column what is it that you want to experience you know if you want to travel to barcelona maybe you need to learn how to speak spanish you don't have to but maybe you want to right so there could be some growth points um, from the experiences you can reverse engineer your growth from the experiences you want to have the very next column is contribution and this is all about impact what is the impact that you want to have in the world so at the top of the column write contribution how do you want to contribute to the world what is the impact that you want to have now you'll find that these three columns actually work in harmony quite well. You've got your experiences, you've got how you need to grow, and potentially what the impact is of that growth and those experiences. Now sometimes we have this, especially in the spiritual development place and the personal development place, this propensity to want to impact the world and you know be egalitarian. But if the impact is just you as well, and that's you filling up your own cup, self-love is not something to be scoffed at. Absolutely, it's worth it. If you've got an experience or a growth point that is just for you because you really want to do that for you and that means something to you and it's fulfilling for you, then absolutely, that is totally fine. So your contribution may be to yourself, to the world around you, or as massive as the universe. One of my favorite quotes that flies in the face of what I've just said, but for something to inspire you along a little bit, is Dr. John D. Martini. I've had him on the podcast a few times. said, hey, if you want to impact yourself, have an impact on your, aim to impact your family. And if you want to impact your family, aim to impact your community. And if you want to impact your community, aim to impact your country. And if you want to impact your country, aim to impact the world. And if you want to impact the world, aim to impact the universe, right? Your circle of impact is just one degree smaller than what your aim to impact is. But again, even if it's just you that you're impacting, that's equally as good. And the third model is the most robust model there is. I had a look at a Mind Valley tool called Lifebook, and they look at building a vision across 12 different categories of your life. Can you imagine having a vision for 12 different categories of your life? Everything from health and fitness to intellectual life to your emotional life, your character, what you want to feel for that, your spiritual life and its evolution, your love life, your personal love life, your parenting, your social life, your career, your finances, the environment that you spend your time in, the vision that you like, the life vision that you want to have, like how envisioning that is for you. There are 12 different categories of your life that you can build a vision around. Inarguably, when I did the life book experience for myself, it was one of the things that completely revolutionized what I was doing in life. It's what gave birth to the Inspired Evolution in many ways. Subsequently, I've created a bit of a model which still looks at the life book categories, but it does this checks and balances with your values and all this other stuff. So I've created my own little model of creating a vision. There's a link to a training in the show notes below. It's a super robust tool. It does take time, energy and effort. I usually invite people to take about 30 minutes per category um, at least, you know, so this is going to probably take you about six odd hours. So if you're curious about model three, it goes into a lot of depth. There's a masterclass in the description below and build out a completely comprehensive vision for your life across all the 12 different life book categories and make sure it's lined up to your values. It's infused by your story where you've been in life, making sure that it's completely in 100% alignment to who you truly are and your soul's purpose. 
Ultimately, having a vision for your life is so important towards fulfillment. You can spend a year, two years, three years, four years. Some people spend decades without clarity of vision and therefore clarity of purpose. They don't know where they're going. And if you don't know where you're going, if you don't have your own plans, someone else's plans become your plans and you are just living into a fulfillment of somebody else's reality someone else's dreams you have your own dreams within you you are here with a purpose fulfillment is your birthright take the time to unpack your vision unpack your dreams and put them down on a piece of paper use any of the models that i've discussed with you here today and let me know which one you chose in the description below and how it changed your life and if there's any of those models that you wanted me to go deeper on and create a specific video on again let me know in the comments below happy to go in and create that for you here on YouTube. Stay inspired, keep evolving. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to its end. Obviously, these insights are inspiring your evolution and that means the world to me. Right here is the very next best video for you to watch that will keep your inspiration flowing, keep you evolving and keep you, you guessed it, yelling. Check it out now.